Ah, one of the best views you'll find in all of baseball. Downtown Pittsburgh in PNC Park. Andrew Heaney is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, EK? Well, guys, you take a look at that whip. It's under 1-2, which tells me he's been pretty darn effective all year long. We'll see how he does in this one. Ozuna is there, and it's a first pitch out to start the ball game. Chris Bryant will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. Well, guys, one good game does not a season make. He's been hitting under 250 over his last 10 games, so hopefully he's figured something out. In time to first, and there are two away. Joey Votto will stand in now. Certainly a dangerous hitter as he ranks number two in the National League in home runs. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Eric, these twins as they take the field here this afternoon. Despite that loss last time out, they're still on a pretty nice run as they'd won. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end. Catfish Hunter is ready to go as he's on the mound for the Phils. E.K., what do you got? Yeah, Matty, in his last start, he gave his ball club six complete innings, but didn't stay around for a decision. He'll look to get W here in this one. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Eric, these Phillies, as they begin play here today, they've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. They've been good away from home here, too. They've won three of their first four on this road trip, and that's a sign that these guys are really coming together as a ball club. Catfish looks in. First pitch on its way. Francisco Lindor stands in as he looks at a cold strike. First curveball of the day for him, and likely not the last. No, he's got a good one. There's no doubt about that. He'll start it on the hip versus righties, and he'll backdoor it to lefties. Two different locations, but equally effective. Batting third. First baseman. Into the windup and the pitch. Jeff Bagwell is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. Sometimes if you let that changeup go too soon, it'll take up. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end. Justin Upton gets his first shot now, and he's Leading working on a modest five-game hitting streak. First pitch Justin of the at-bat. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. That first pitch change can be a tough one. A guy doesn't have any point of reference to work from, and he just can't help himself up there. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. And, and Upton can't connect there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Kyle Schwarber will stand in, and perhaps unsurprisingly, the numbers tell us he's a much better hitter versus right-handers than he is against lefties. Swung on and missed, it's 0-1. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Back to the mound and off his leg. Safe at first. A good effort to recover there, and he almost made the play, but that's a base hit. Good effort, though. That looks painful. Steve Pierce will stand in as he'll get a break from playing the field and be the DH here in this one. Yeah, it's a nice luxury to have here in an interleague ball game. You give them a little bit of a break from the field, but you still keep that big bat in the lineup. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. And you know, his changeup and sinker sort of do the same thing. They both drop off the table pretty good at the end. The only difference is he usually wants you to hit his sinker and he wants you to swing and miss at the changeup. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Pretty evident here that they weren't going to give this guy anything to pull in this at-bat. I mean, the guy has such quick hands through the pitch inside. But you're going to see that all four of these pitches on the outer half of the plate, and he just can't adjust to any of them. Stepping in now, Eduardo Nunez. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Nice. 
Uh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. Well, he's down 0-2 now, and he hasn't even seen the changeup yet. That could be the strikeout pitch of choice right here. Chop foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. Hit on the ground to short. On to Kipnis at second, and the inning is over. Philly strand one will go to the bottom of the second. No score. Luis Valbuena strides Leading into the box right now to lead off the home Third half of the second eight. inning. Luis Watches a fastball Valbuena. right there for strike one. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Yeah, he has been patient up there, but now he's backed himself into a corner. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Swing and a ball line softly down the line in right. Foul. Catfish has the sign. Looking for the strikeout here on 0-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Now he was really late on this one. I mean, really late. You can see where the baseball is by the time he gets the barrel through. I mean, it's darn near in the catcher's glove already. That tells me he was probably looking for something else. Jason Kipnis strides forward with a hot bat in his hands. Great numbers over the past few games. And he falls behind 0-2. You know, some of Jason Kipnis' teammates affectionately call him dirtbag because he has a habit of giving his body up and getting his uniform dirty on every play. you got to love a guy like that. Upton is over now, and he puts this one away in foul territory, and there are two men out. Marcelo Zuna will stride forward now, looking to keep that hit streak alive. Currently at six games entering play. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up at one and one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Upton's after it. And that retires the side. Down go the Twins in order. Back in Pittsburgh, we get a shot from the city across the Monongahela River. Try to say that ten times fast. Anthony goes. Steps in now, just hoping for something to go Senator his Hilbert. way. And as you can Anthony see, that has not been Hilbert. the case in recent days. Third inning ball starts inside. with a slider that's looked at here for ball one. And I think that might have been a first. The first ball they've taken the entire game. Sound no the trumpets. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Tap foul at home plate. to two and two now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Ichiro Suzuki will get his first shot here and you can see he's got that average up near the 330 mark to begin playing. Lifted the other way out to left center. Ozuna on the run. He hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away. Back to the top of the order now. And in steps a man whose number 42 has been forever retired, Jackie Robinson. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. Grounded back up the middle. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Three up. Brock Holt will come forward to begin the inning. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. And they're still searching for a base runner. It's been six up, six down to start the game. Bottom three in the batting order here is the first pitch misses to the number seven hitter. It's ball one. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Well, nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at-bat. 
He could go just about anywhere from here. Hunter's ready. Here's the one and two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Backhanded. And Robinson will throw him out. One gone. Batting eight. Yosmani Grandal will Yosemite dig in, and this season certainly Grandal. hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. And he swings here and sends one in the air deep down the right field line. Ichiro back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Yeah, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. Upton has it in his sights, and that's the third out. Chris Bryant is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Well, they still don't have any runs on the board yet, so getting this leadoff man on base would be huge. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. This is line to left, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Well, you got to start a streak somewhere, and he's well into this one now. A six-game hit streak with that base hit. He's swinging the bat pretty good right now. Joey Votto is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Now, here's a good spot to finally break through against this guy. You've got the leadoff man on, the heart of the order's coming up, and maybe this is a good chance to get that goose egg off the scoreboard. Chased a bad one there, 1-1. One and one. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. But this will land untouched. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Here's the one and two delivery. Chop foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Ball and two strikes, here it is. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Justin Upton is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. Good late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. This is a guy whose numbers are on the rise, and this is a big reason why. Two close pitches, two good takes, and now he's in a great hitter's count, 2-0. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to 2-2 two and two now. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And Upton swings and misses on a good pitch, and he's set down on strikes for route number two. Kyle Schwarber stands in. Catcher. Kyle Schwarber. First delivery to him on the way. Out in front of it, strike one. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. Hit hard up the middle, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Next for Steve Pierce gets a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. And a big two out at bat right here. You know, it's still early in this game, but you don't want to have to look back on this as a major missed opportunity later on. Lofted in the air out toward right center. 
Calling for it, Chisenhall. And that ends the inning. Odubel Herrera will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still inning. looking for their first Center hit of the ball game. Odubel and still looking for their first base runner, too. Nine up, nine down. Called strike 0 and 2. Hard hit ball to second. Played on the backhand. And Robinson will throw him out. One gone. Now batting. Short Settling in now. Francisco Lindor. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Got him. Jeff Bagwell digs in with his team First still baseman, looking at a five. zero in the hit column. Shay. Took a little Bagwell. off, and it's in for a cold strike one. Two out, nobody on. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. And another foul ball. Catfish steps into his windup. Here's the 0-2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Eduardo Nunez heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. Well, they still aren't even on the board yet, so this leadoff guy needs to get on so they can manufacture a run. Into the seats, 0-1. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. And I'll tell you what, he's throwing with a lot of confidence right now. And he's also taking some chances with location, but you know, he's thinking he's bulletproof out there, and so far he has been. Ground ball left side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Suzuki. Stepping in, Ichiro Suzuki. He flew out in his last at-bat. Here comes the first pitch. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Kipnis back He's to out. first. And a great stretch there may be the difference. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Down quickly go the Phillies. Luis Valbuena comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. Still pretty early, but they don't have any hits yet, so you need to get it going offensively. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. And he'll take this to the bag. Three unassisted for the first out. The second baseman, Jason Kipnis is at the plate now. Flied out in his first half bat. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. That's a pitch you have to lay off right there. That tight slider busting down and out of the zone. All that can do is tie you up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second now out. Marcelo Zuna Marcel. is into the box for his oh, second Zuna. appearance. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Chopped at the plate. Schwarber going to have to hurry. Throw is up the line as it gets away. And he's going to make it up to second base safely as he's in there. My word. The batter, number 15, Digging in now, Brock Holt. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. 
Too high. One and two. And I think that might have been a little bit of a purpose pitch right there up in the zone. Now I think he's going to come back down with something to try to get that strikeout. And no problems over there for Votto as that'll end the inning. One left for Minnesota. Sixth inning coming up. Jackie Robinson will stand in to lead things off here in the Philadelphia Sixth. And you know, guys, I love a guy like this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact and he can run. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Protecting with two strikes, one out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. 0-2, here it comes. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Oh, and he dusted him now, off the plate that time. Two. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Well, that might be his way of saying, look, I'm enough of the foul balls already. Tried go. to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Hit in the air out to right. And the sixth inning opens with a flyout. One away. Up next for Philadelphia. Chris Bryant will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Sent on the ground out to second. Kipnis has it. Throw gets him two down. Joey Votto will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Yeah, not showing too much so far, but he's got a chance to make something happen right here. See if he can put those other ABs behind him. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Justin Upton will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two out single seemed harmless enough, but anytime you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, you better be careful. hit to first. Bagwell has it and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is Yosmani Grandal gets things started here in the Quinn. sixth for the hometown Catcher. team. Absolutely Yosmani nothing going on in this game so far so we'll see if the leadoff man can get something going. Late decision to swing that time and as a result it's 0-2. Yeah well you kind of get the sense that he's been guessing up there on the first two pitches and he's been guessing wrong. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Now batting, right fielder. Lonnie Lonnie. Chisenhall comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And you would think that this heat would start affecting him sooner or later, but it hasn't so far. If anything, he's getting stronger as the day goes on. Belted high in the air out to left. Gone! A solo shot here to left. Seven home runs for him on the year now as the Twins take a 1-0 lead. The windup and the 0-1. Line to the right side. And that's into the outfield for the one-out base hit. Francisco Lindor steps in with one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Yeah, it's been a pretty good inning here so far, so we'll see if they can scratch another one across right here. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. First baseman, Jeff five. Bagwell is at the plate as he watches ball one. One run, two hits, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. 
Kyle Schwarber will stand in here to start the seventh. EK, it's been a pitching and defense Philly. afternoon all throughout. Yeah, neither starter looking like he's ready to blink. Neither one of them looking all that tired just yet. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing and two. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing those first two pitches out of the strike zone, but I think he's caught on to their little game now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes, and the count now two and two. Now, Steve Pierce will stand in now. He struck out and flied out, 0 for 2 thus far. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Well, this guy has done a pretty good job of being effectively wild. He's only thrown first pitch strikes to about 60% of the batters he's faced, but look at where he's sitting right now. Excellent. Hit down the line at first. Fielded cleanly by Bagwell, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. Now batting, shortstop. Eduardo Nunez, ready to take another shot, went down on strikes his last time up. Yeah, and he went down in flames, too. Got him on just three pitches. Too high, 1-0. Oh. Swing and a liner. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Here's the Minnesota skipper making his way out to the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. Number 70. So with a lefty waiting, they'll go to a lefty of their own out of the bullpen here. Anthony Ghost is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Ozuna moving to his left. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. And one left for Philadelphia. Luis Valbuena will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup, four, five, and six, as they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run, that's it. Luis Valbuena is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. A pause, and the 0-2. Grounded to first. And Votto will take this one to the bag himself for the out. Jason Kipnis will dig in. 0 for 2. He's flied out and popped out so far. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Tough fastball that time, but he hangs with it to stay alive. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Another one sent foul. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. That's lifted the other way out to left. After it is Upton. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Marcelo Zuna is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Leading off the inning, Ichiro Suzuki, as they'll look to get Leading something going here and even this game up. Now action in the bullpen Ichiro as their Suzuki. closer starts to get loose out there. And, oh, look out as he has to hop out of the way of the fastball there. And if there's one thing base dealers don't like, it's when you throw at their legs. Now oh, that's their meal ticket you're messing with. Swung on and missed on a pitch at the thumbs, a ball and a strike. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. And he got him. Jackie Robinson will stand in. And they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Popped high in the air. 
Bagwell is there for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Luke Gregerson will enter the ball game out of the pen as he'll look to get the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Now pitching for the Twins, number 44. Chris Bryant stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. And that pitch is only 89 miles an hour. You know, that's not the hardest fastball you're ever going to come across, but it's the command and the two-seam movement that makes that a tough pitch to hit. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Phillies down in order. They still trail. Brock Holt will get his Leading third shot Williams. at it here. He's bounced out and hitter. popped out in his previous Brock. two trips. 0-1, oh. oh, here's the pitch. Comes back with a fastball up and away that swung on and missed. 0-2. Oh Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Yosmani Grandal will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Ghost going back. He gets there, and that's the second out. Up next for Minnesota. Lonnie Chisenhall steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. Hard liner to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Odubel Herrera gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Called a strike on the outer half, 0-1-1. Squared that one up just a little late. Swing and a liner. Foul. And a good two strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Twins wind up stranding one, but they're up. Hector Rondon is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Joey Votto will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the ninth because they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So, quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. So an unfortunate turn of events for him here is he's going to be forced to leave the game due to injury. And hopefully it's nothing that keeps him out of commission for too long. Justin Upton comes to the plate now with the tying run at first. So he'll be looking to drive a ball into the gap here. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Hitting that first pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. You have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate the at-bat. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at-bat. It's 0-2 now. Rondon's ready. Here it is on 0-2. Bonsign still on with two strikes as he puts this one down. On to first as Valbuena throws him out. One gone. So striding in, Kyle Schwarber, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Nervous time now in that third base dugout. Heck, nervous time up here. My heart's racing and I'm just watching this game. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball, one and one. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you got to leave alone and make him bring something down. Late square, and this is popped up. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for route number two. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. Steve Pierce will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. But he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. And here's a swing and a miss, so the Phils are down to what could be their final strike now. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. Well, on to first here is going to do it, and the Twins have come back to even up this series at a 